19th of May, rainy, but a light rain. We're working here on the excavation, 700 North 1st Street, downtown St. Louis, the Cleves Landing. We've uncovered a wall here made out of limestone. This is the foundation wall. It's got a lot of burn material up against it. It may be that this was one of the buildings that was standing during the 1849 Great Fire of St. Louis. It may not be. We're still working down through that material to figure out exactly what the date for this layer is. One of the more interesting discoveries as we were cleaning along this wall were two wooden posts. One of them is upright, one of them is horizontal. Probably part of a sill floor for a basement to the building. And as we were cleaning the soil away from that, we found a broken brick. And the brick says Laclede, St. Louis. A very famous brick maker in the early history of St. Louis. So our plan now is to continue going down. We're at a level probably mid-19th century. What we really want to see is the 18th century French artifacts from colonial St. Louis, and then, if we're lucky, below that, the Native American material from the St. Louis of the 12th century to 11th century. So as we peel each layer of soil off, we give numbers to them, and we look at the artifacts in each one of those layers to determine how long ago that soil was put in. So in the upper area of this soil, it's about oh, 10 centimeters thick, had some coins from the 1970s in it. This was the level of soil put down after the building was demolished. Then right below that, we've got some of the destruction layer with lots of bricks and lots of wood and styrofoam and other artifacts indicating that this was the actual building destruction moment, probably the 1970s. Below that layer of destruction, we then come up with some clay layers and then a layer here which is called Locus 11, rich with charcoal, rich with artifacts, no of uh, the modern contaminants in that material. So that's what we see as the 19th century. As we've been excavating into this fill deposit, lots of broken brick, lots of burnt limestone, uh, some small amounts of pottery, animal bones. We mark each one of the important findings with one of these surveying pins. And what we'll do at the end of the day is we'll shoot the elevation of that surveying pin and we'll mark it on a map. There was a glass vial, for example, found right there where this pin is located. Near my lake, another pin indicates the location where a piece of sewer tile with the word St. Louis embedded on it uh, was found. So at the end of the day, we'll take final elevations of the surfaces we're digging. We'll shoot the elevations of these important artifacts. And I'll photograph them and have them on the web, oftentimes within six hours of discovery. That's the kind of archaeology we do at St. Louis Community College.